Hello and welcome to this presentation of the Tiny MCE Advanced Editor by Andrew Oz. When you're editing content in WordPress you have two main options. The first is to see a text only version of the content that you're editing. Now this may confuse non-computer users because the text version is the control text as I like to call it for my customers so that includes all the tags and all the information that builds the page what most people are more interested in is the other version which is the visual version and basic visual mode looks like this if you look at the right hand side at the top of the menu uh, bar you can see uh, the visual and text buttons pressing those switches between these two options but basic visual mode is pretty limited it's allowing you to just do some very basic formatting most people want a little bit more now of all those icons the far right one uh, are those that list of icons which starts with bold and italic at the other end there's a funny looking um, picture which if you click on it is actually the toolbar toggle and that adds a second line of information which looks like this and this is probably what most people want to use because it gives you a chance to identify paragraphs, headings, subheadings change the font size, do the indenting and is generally a lot more useful however this is still nowhere near as good as you would have in your um, word processing editor and that's where this plugin comes in because if we add this plugin we immediately find ourselves with these options so the tiny MCE advanced editor gives us uh, access to more controls through a pull down menu um, good table controls as you'll also have noticed it's added a few icons into the toolbar ribbon as well and now we're getting to the level you'd expect with a word processing editor which we're probably all a little more used to but as in all the great uh, sayings it doesn't end there you can actually drag and drop a whole set of useful buttons onto the toolbar for use in your site this is part of the advanced editing page and you can see at the bottom there you have some unused buttons for formatting choosing font family which a lot of people like to do font sizes, cut and paste, anchors image, horizontal rule etc so they're all available there in the unused buttons area you dr literally drag them up to the toolbar and then once you save these settings they will then be available in all your um, editing boxes for posts and pages throughout the entire site. So we've got support for creating edit tables, more options inserting lists, search and replace, font family and size and for the developers there is access via the API so developers can add other options and can also integrate uh, other features. For instance we have a video player that we use and the buttons for that appear in the top toolbar as well. So this is a uh, new plugin in a way because it's only been released since the changes at version 3.9 however it already has uh, nearly 4 million users I think the rating of 3.9 out of 5 stars is actually um, very unfriendly I think it's worth a lot more than that but it's a great free plugin and we are now implementing it on all our customer sites. Thank you very much.